Hi, this is Jono Sweet Honeycode, and today we're going to take a look at Shopify's measurement meta field. So let's get started. All right, so let's go into our Shopify admin. Now, please note there was an update to Shopify, which means the settings will look very different. So when we click on the settings now, it comes up as an overlay, which is neat and tidy. From here, we're going to scroll on down to the Meta Fields area and click on it. And I'm going to click on Products Next. Here you can see the example Meta Field I've created for the measurement Meta Field. Let's click on it. There's a few different options for measurement. There is weight, volume, and dimension. In this example, I went with dimension. Of course, you can create different kinds like a measurement field for length or width, depending on what you need. But first, let's go visit my product. I'm going to go to my product here and set up an example so we can see this in action. All right, as you can see here, I have 10 millimeters, but there's different options, at least for dimensions like centimeters, inches, yards, and more. So depending on the type that you chose, you're going to see different options here. Let's click save and preview this. Of course, I totally forgot and I'm seeing my other theme. So I'm going to switch over to the 1.0 debut theme so we can see this in action. Refresh it. And here we are. See how it says 10 yards. So I coded this in and let's take a look at the code and see how I did that. All right, we're going to go to our online store here and I'm going to scroll on down and go to debut actions and edit code. Here I'm on a product template. Now there's a few different things to consider about this meta field. Let's take a look at the documentation real quick and take a look at those differences. First, the measurement meta field is a text object and it has different types, dimension, volume, and weight, which we saw in the admin. But it also has units, which can de vary depending on which type you chose. And then there is value, which would be the number you entered in for that measurement. Each of these are important if you're hand coding this in. Now let's go take a look at the code I did write for this example. Oh, there it is. Here's where I wrote out that example. As you can see here, I have dot measurement dot value that pulls out the number. Then I have dot measurement dot unit, which display the units based on which setting we chose. Let's take a moment and see how this looks in an online store 2.0. So I have Dawn here. I'm going to go to customize. I'm going to go to a products, a product template. And because measurement is a text field, I'm going to quickly get rid of this one that has an error and add a new text block. Now I want to bring in my dynamic source for measurement and click save. Oh, let's try to get rid of this text real quick. Oh no, I deleted it all. Don't worry, let's bring it back. Dynamic source and measurement and click save again. There we go. Now it may be hard to see in this example because I have done no theming, but here it says 10 yards. So in an online store 2.0 example, it will pull in that value as it is without additional code, which is pretty cool. Well, this concludes this tutorial on using the measurement meta field. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check it out and try it out in your themes. Let me know how you did and support this channel through buy me a coffee and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.